Moshi Moshi, my Ami Gamers, and welcome back to Kechi Impact. According to the chief of the tribe, Amina, the key to repelling the insurance of destroying the Abyssal Perlon. Time to head out together with Mulani. Today, we'll continue doing the Oikon Nathling quest. It's up the tree, or in the mountains at least. Oh, let's see some find them back on too. Hey, let's have them to the same time. Hey! Hey! Over here! Over here! Yeah? Getting hit constantly. The power of this upon the world defined the magic of Thassis. Target protected by Void Bear cannot be damaged while defended, but only attacking the elemental attack by certain numbers of times can be destroyed. Additionally, Night Souls aligned elemental attack seems able to destroy Void's player with greater cease. This thing. Why are you hurting me? Why are you hitting me? <laughs> Wazer, you're a wolf. Handle it. The Wazer is the better wolf. You motherfucker! Break guys fighting? Ooh, that's different. Let's do this. You're in the water. You're touching it. You're touching it. You're getting electrified at the same time. We'll be okay. Where's he missed? That's okay. Where do we go? Get dressed up here. Not bad for damage. Those guys really? We are too friend. Why them around? Oh, no, you broke it. Double the damage accuracy because why not? Got it. Okay, the wolf down. Okay, good. All right. Uh, how do we do this? How do we do this? Water works. Okay, it's gonna take a while. Let's do this. Come on. Keep swinging. What's your water build? This swing around. Oh, never mind. Uh, they're not gonna stop us. It is looking. Hey, Abyss! Look for up there! I'm breaking it! I'm gonna break it! Oh, one is coming towards me. Hey, what a matter. Let's do this. That's a lot of damage we did. Some of the huts. Hey, why is that? Break this! Why is that? Got this! Swing at it! Hey, I'm breaking your coy! What you got? Just stay at me! You just stay there! <laughs> like bottom stumble, what should I do again? <laughs> Idiot! Baka! That should do it, right? I don't see any more monsters, so. Looks like we're in the clear. Do these attacks happen a lot? Must be hard on your tribe! Yeah, it makes things hard sometimes, but. That's how our ancestors have always lived. Besides, the Abyss doesn't care how difficult our lives are. Fighting back is the only option. Come on, we should head back. Huh? What are you looking at? Is there something over there? Look over there. You're right! Mulawani, look! They're coming from that direction! Wait, that area looks kind of familiar! That's the location of the abandoned spring. <sighs> what? How unlucky can we get? We just finished the renovations. We probably don't have any reinforcements over there, so it's up to us. Let's move. Well, shit. Huh? Seems like the monsters are decreasing in number. Yes. Come on, everyone, keep it up. Watch out! It won't have to help, Ashley. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah, what, what? Oh, oh, you trying to hit me? Nah. Oh shit! The wolf. Yeah, what's the deal with that? What's the deal with that? Ooh, what's your what's your Bounce? Attack. Okay, yeah, let's double it, let's double it. Hey -ya! Wait, sir? Okay, because I have extra food with me. Who's your friend? Alright, kill them. The ways are dead. That's okay. Fuck that one! Wait, sir. I mean, why are you running this way? Come back, you bitch! Why are you running? Really? You 
Korok just to default heal yourself. Which is annoying about this game. If we attack, what can you fight back? This is one away. Keep hitting. Go, Lenny. Dead, dead, dead. Hey, nice. Okay. We'll just kneel by when we get through. Right here. Okay, are the enemies on here? Ah, doesn't seem like it, but by were cussing. She's getting affected. Atea, what are you doing here? Where's the pylon? <laughs> Where do you think? If I'm here, means that thing is long gone. I was in a hurry, so it's not my best work. You should check if all the important stuff is still here. Stop talking for now. That wound looks bad. The abyssal power is corroding your body. Is this the right area? Hello? Anyone there? Yes. <laughs> Mulani and Atea. What's going on? We were told the second pylon was over here. Atea took care of it, but she's injured. Quick, someone get a doctor. Yeah, all right, all right, stop fussing. Don't you think I know my own limits? The main thing is they didn't destroy anything. This is a beautiful hot spring, by the way. I can tell how much work you put into it. Wait, no. This was meant to be a surprise. <laughs> For me, right? I know. Atea! <laughs> you think I couldn't tell you were avoiding me on purpose? Not one of you stopped to say hello today. It couldn't be more obvious that you were hiding something. <laughs> and you, Mualani, were you the one that brought the snacks? How many times have I told you you have to choose them based on the temperature of the water? Oh, forget about that. The doctor's almost here and you're gonna get all better. Then we can have a meal together and I'll help you make whatever you want, okay? We just have to hold on. Mulani and Athena has been injured by the abyss before. Maybe that's why the corruption is so fast this time. At this rate, she's not going to make it until it helps her life. Maybe there's something I can do. Think about it. The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. Remember that moment, Aretha? What? The crystal has been purified? When? The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? That's right, back then I... Atea! Atea! Let me touch her. Let me try something. Wait, what do you mean? I just need to touch her. <gasps> oh yeah! That works! What is this? Some sort of purification? The abyssal power, it's... being cleansed away! H how can that be? I never knew that was even possible. Uh, uh... She's like, oh shit, I'm a mom, okay. <coughs> Atea! Uh, the mark of the abyss. It's gone. Yes, thanks to the traveler. By the way, traveler, are you alright? I just saw you purify abyssal power from Atea's body. That didn't injure you in any way, did it? I'm fine. You're sure? Of course. Look. Even my Good. dick's fine. Good. Oh, See? Thank goodness. You scared us all half to death just now. It could be your trust but was of the surround you and Athena. That you toss you into the air over and over and welcome to triple. Whoa, what? Yay! Yeah, okay. We'll celebrate Atea's recovery and our triumph over the abyss. And most importantly, we'll show the traveler and Paimon how grateful we are for their aid. Let's make it an occasion to remember. Dismissed! Got it! Got any other secret powers I should know about? <sighs> oh, but seriously, you really came through for us tonight, so thank you. Paimon almost forgot you had that ability. You used to back in Mondstadt to cleanse Devalin's tears, didn't you? That was some quick thinking, Traveler. Huh? You look like something's bothering you. What's wrong? I didn't want to spoil the mood earlier, but when I was providing the abyss power with Athena, I could sense something else. Remnants of the power have existed within the body for years, according to from the insights. I did my best to cleanse the power just now, but it's already it's playing ingredient within her internal organs, leaving her fragile to leave in the wind. Abyssal power still exists within her body. 
Immersing herself in hot water would accelerate the corrosion of her internal organs and the progression of her illness. We think Auntie Atea's illness has taken a turn for the better. Uh, she could never come into contact with hot water before, and now she's visiting the hot springs every night. I mean, it's pretty obvious what that means, right? Uh, I don't think she's going to kill Hospi because she's recovering, but because she realized her condition has been taken to the cell town the worst. I'm just not sure if I should tell Mulani. Hello? Traveler? Maybe you can zone out some other time because Paimon can barely keep her eyes open. Let's head back for now. Ah, sorry, I was daydreaming about Ayaka. <laughs> totally. With that still in your heart, you return to the inn and to rest until next morning. It is time for the hot spring party. Party time! Yeah, yeah. Oh god, the razors? That toy is so good. I mean, he killed most of the wolves, so yeah, that makes sense. Oh, look at that. Everyone's having fun. Where am I? Power is chilling over there? I have nothing to tie. Nah, I do. <laughs> Not interested in hanging out with the other kids? Snacks not to your taste? Hot spring temperature too high? None of the above, huh? I heard you were the one who cleansed the abyssal power yesterday. You sensed it, didn't you? <sighs> I was hoping to keep it a secret for a few more days. Didn't want to ruin the celebrations and all. <sighs> but looks like it was no use. Hey, kid! Who, me? Yes, you! Yes, you. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Hey! Uh, where are you going? Did something happen? I'm just going to get some air. It's too noisy in here. You have fun. We'll be right back. Oh, and there are extra snacks in that box over there if they need replenishing. Bake them all fresh this morning. All right! Sounds great! Yeah? <laughs> You've gotten so tall. You know that. Feels like just yesterday you were that rambunctious kid causing trouble all around the hot springs. <laughs> it's like all that time passed in the blink of an eye. Tell me, how are your parents? They're away on business. Seriously, Ateo, what's going on? You're acting strange. Traveler, did something happen? Both of you seem a little off today. I guess I should explain. I wasn't visiting the hot springs because I was getting better. And that pylon yesterday, I didn't go face it by myself because I was reckless or too anxious to wait for reinforcements. It's because my body isn't going to last much longer. Your friend saved my life in that cave. And because of that, I got to enjoy this celebration with you all. But I'm just a few days shy of the end. The hot springs, I'm just trying to enjoy them for as long as I have left. Oh, Mualani? That better not happen again, whether I'm here to catch you or not. That's what you said back at the artificial spring. I had a bad feeling then, but I didn't want it to be true. I wanted to believe you were actually recovering. <sighs> you want to know something? Recovery, death, to me. The two aren't all that different. Both are worth celebrating. <laughs> You've never been resurrected, so you might not understand. But Death and I? We're old pals by now. There's nothing sad about being reunited with an old friend. <sighs> I lived with regret for a long time. Regret that my illness meant I could no longer take to the front lines. Especially as our nation slid deeper into crisis. But yesterday, I was finally able to let go of that regret. Not only because I found the strength to fight the abyss, even at the end of my life, but because I got to see you in action, Mualani. Seeing you out there, it made me realize that I don't need to worry about our tribe or our nation's future. You have the capacity to bring us all together. Even if I was never injured, old age would still take me one day. <sighs> but I've done what I needed to do. The future is in your hands now. Just remember, whether in life or death, 
I am always Aww. with you. Well, hugging you in front of Ethan, he's probably just like, oh, that was like, that was like, uh, Nilu like three months ago. I understand. Seems like you've given this a lot of thought, Atea. Thank you for telling me all this. I'll do everything in my power to protect our tribe, our nation, and live up to the example you set for me. Good. <laughs> oh, and if any of you have the chance to meet with the Archon, could you give this to her for me? What is it? A talisman I've carried with me my whole life. It may seem strange to say while I'm still alive, but just think of it as a relic I'm leaving for her. It's brought me good fortune in battle. Even after I became too sick to fight, I never took it off. Just tell her it embodies fond memories and my strength of will. <laughs> She'll know what I'm trying to say. Don't worry. We'll make sure she gets it. <sighs> all right. That's all I wanted to say. Let's head back to the party. No use spending what little time I have left being sad. Yeah, that's true. No, Pyma just still. Traveler, Atea, Mualani. If you don't hurry up, there won't be any snacks left. Excuse me, what did I say about bathing in the hot springs on a full stomach? Uh, hey, are you listening to me? Uh oh, it has a great time amidst the festival of meal. When it comes to a goal, Atea says goodbye with a smile. When she reaches your group, she pats me on the shoulders lightly. Life is a journey in which there's no turning back. So forge ahead and don't hold back. I got complete. Okay, I know it's not done. It keep done that early. Okay, what's this? Pressing the tone flare. Offering the power signal to obtain your attention to the tablet. Come on, old thing! Paimon! Two days later? I mean, yeah, see, there was a part two. You make a new girl amongst the people of the springs and leaves memories behind. It's good to break before embarking on a new journey. Ah, oh, it's been two days! Alright, now we are back here. I mean, I think we're gonna stay here for two more days while it's chilling. So, our is not done. What's that, boy? feels like a whole new pine on after those two days in the hot springs. The abyss kind of threw a wrench in our relaxation, though. Still, uh -huh. spending time here really has felt like a vacation. The Koholosaurs are so nice and so fun to play with. Their bellies are super bouncy. Oh, and Atea's snacks were so delicious. She did buy on some for the road just this morning. What was she up to? Yelling at some kids who got caught throwing stones in the hot springs, so not much has changed since we first met her. Hey, you guys. Sleep well last night? Yep. This area is so nice. <laughs> Glad you like it. I was thinking of taking you guys out to do some sea fishing. Later tonight, we can eat whatever we catch. Fresh fish is oh God, those ice. delicious right off the grill. <laughs> hey, Moalani. Yeah? What do you need? The team sent out to fight in the Night Warden Wars has returned. And Kachina? Is she back as well? Kachina... fell in battle. But don't worry. The team was victorious, so the Rite of Resurrection will be held in the stadium soon. She dead? That's a relief. The Abyss is cunning, and it was that her first time. Mistakes are bound to happen. That confuses me. Does it mean she died, or is she just injured? Heavily injured at the fact that she's still alive but barely breathing. Exactly. She deserves to hold her head up high. Alright, thanks for letting me know. We'll head out in a bit. Jeez, she sounded a little anxious there. Had me thinking it was bad news for a moment. Like she died. Mulani, you said the Abyss was cunning just now. But it seems like the Abyss just wants to destroy everything. Like, think about all those monsters that attacked your tribe. If there really was some sort of cunning plan, wouldn't it make more sense to send them to attack Kachina and her small team? Um, not that Paimon wants them to be in any more danger, it's just... <laughs> Relax, I get it. The Abyss is difficult to understand, that's for sure. At a glance, it certainly seems like the only goal is total destruction. The Abyss isn't a living entity after all, so what capacity for logic or planning could it possibly possess? But through our long history of fighting the Abyss, we've realized things aren't quite so simple. 500 years ago, the Abyss invaded Tevat. You know 
know about that, right? Doing the Ace of Kaya? That's right. Conria suffered greatly during that time. But so did every other nation in Tibet. This is about Kalia again? And Natland was the worst affected of all. It took the combined efforts of the then Pyro Archon and heroes from every tribe to finally repel the Abyss. Even so, the effects of the invasion lingered for hundreds of years, only able to be reversed little by little. Our tribe's waters were contaminated. The children of Echo's territory was overrun by dangerous sludge surging from underground. Unrelenting black winds tore across the lands of the Flower Feather Clan. It was like each disaster was designed for a specific tribe. So the Abyss understood the foundation of each tribe? Exactly. We once thought that the Abyss's desire for destruction was a sort of primal instinct. But its methods are, in truth, marked by intelligence. We now believe the Abyss has invaded the Night Kingdom. And has the capacity to read the memories of this land at any given moment. And that's how it became so dangerous and cunning. Almost like it knows you inside and out. Yes. And that's why we've been unable to fully eradicate it, even after all this time. Luckily, the problems left behind by the Abyss have been successfully addressed by the various Pyro Archons we've had over the years. Now every tribe is prospering and things are looking up. I mean, just look at what we managed to do a few days ago. We totally fought them off. Hmm, in our nation, it's, I've, seen, I've seen how much effort it takes to truly unlock the Abyss. The people of Nathan lives in the shadows every day. Who knows how long it will take for this war to end. You must have had to sacrifice a lot to get to this point. Every battle, every sacrifice is in pursuit of a future where we get to stop fighting. Responsibility, duty, unavoidable burden. Everyone in Natland views the war differently, but I believe we will be rid of the Abyss one day. And the efforts of all who fought against them will become a story for the ages. To think that my name could survive in ballads passed down to future generations, it's kind of romantic. Everyone has something that drives them forward, you know? You maybe want to contribute. <laughs> Be my guest. Heroes are always welcome in Natlan. Anyway, let's head to the stadium. Our fishing trip can wait until Kachina's back with us. The sea's not going anywhere. Yeah, that's true. Now, Act 2! We think I'll stop there for recording for part 1? I mean, Act 1? Nah, I'll keep going. You know why? This is my to show you until it's over. Pachina! Are you over here? Oh, just do that. Okay. Katrina! Where is she? <gasps> she? She's not there. Um, I'm feeling nervous. I'm really nervous. What's Katrina? Of course. No one's gonna miss out on the chance to welcome our heroes back from battle. <laughs> it's their moment of glory. Kachina's gonna be so flustered. She's never had this many eyes on her before. Uh, <laughs> you think so? Yeah, she doesn't seem like the kind of person who likes being the center of attention. Looks like I'm just in time. Yes, you are. Can you hear? Yeah, a commission ran longer than expected, but I made it. I heard about the incident with your tribe, Mualani. Is everyone all right? Yeah, it's all taken care of. Our new friend here's got some tricks up his sleeve, by the way. He's just as strong as Kachina made him out to be. If only I had been a bit more perceptive. Hey, look! Is it about to start? That's right. Someone will come out and recite a eulogy, and then we'll sing the Ode of Resurrection together. Come on, let's find a spot with a good view. When the singing starts, just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Let's go somewhere higher up so Kachina can spot us. Good idea. Warriors of Natlan! Heed the call of life! We are the inheritors of memory and legend! Those who grew alongside sun and wind! Those who forged our own destiny and future! That is Natland's fire! The lifeblood of our nation! Ooh. She just walks in.
Oh shit! This is not. This is amazing. This is like seeing the United States of America after. Listen, guys, listen. I kind of want to hear Ita singing. Kachina within the Night Kingdom, or locate her ancient name. What? No uh, way. What does that even mean? Usually, once the ode is complete, the Pyro Archon and resurrected person will emerge from the flames. But something went wrong. What's going on? This has never happened before. Well, I think it's pretty obvious. Clearly, the team sent to fight the Abyss didn't win after all. Think about it. The Ode rekindles all victors. We've witnessed it countless times. Since the Archon couldn't find Kachina in the Night Kingdom, that must mean there's more to this victory than meets the eye. Hey! You just haven't gotten over the fact that Kachina beat you in the pilgrimage! But this asshole! The both of you. Your wild guesses are misplaced. We completed our mission. Yeah, you tell them, pretty bitch. Maybe you did. But who's to say whether that little girl even contributed at all? Maybe she got scared and ran off. Why would the Wyab recognize someone like her, even if she was on the winning team? How dare you insult a hero of Natland like that? Kachina sacrificed herself to repel the Abyss. She doesn't deserve to be subjected to your vile rumors when she's not even here to defend herself. Calm down, Mulani. There's no point arguing with the likes of them. I wouldn't either. I can't just sit here and let them slander her like that. To insult a hero of Natlan, the person actually has to be a hero. You... You... You motherfucker! Think about it, everyone. Who do you think is really at fault here? A girl who never should have even gone to war? Or the great Pyro Archon? Why would the rules of our nation suddenly stop working? Like, what did you say? That's true. If she wasn't revived, it must mean she failed to achieve victory. Maybe the Wyab interpret victory in different ways? I mean, that girl didn't look all that strong to me. She has a vision. The power seems to be deemed dot. Why is she, why is why isn't she put the stop to the commotion? Kachina wouldn't have run! That's not like her at all! No! She's been waiting for this moment for too long. No matter how daunting the situation, no matter how scared she might feel. She's always the first person to stand up and face it head on. We don't even know what happened. So don't you dare try to use this as an excuse to vent your anger or slander her reputation. Fine. We'll find out what happens soon enough. Then, we'll see who truly deserves glory. That's enough. There is no doubt about today's victory, or Kachina's part in it. She is a hero worthy of our admiration and celebration. Exactly. However, the failure of today's ceremony is undeniable. Kachina has not been rekindled, and I offer you all my deepest apologies as I continue to investigate this matter. To prevent further casualties, I have decided to suspend the pilgrimage until this matter is resolved. What? No one is all-knowing. No one is infallible, not even myself. But doubt is a means by which we seek the truth, not a weapon we wield against others. I, 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 I didn't mean it that way, Archon. I just... You get punished, you bitch! If there are things you wish to clarify, then ask me directly. Doubt my answer if you wish. But now's your chance. You have concerns? State them. N no, of, of course not. Even though I have said nothing to change your mind. Then it would seem the truth never mattered to you at all. That guy doesn't even have the courage to answer the Pyro Archon's question. So much for all that glory talk earlier. I have a question, Archon. He's like, oh, hey, Molly, what you want? My friend Kachina. Do you have any idea where she is? It's extremely important to me. I know you said you were investigating the situation, but I'm sorry, that's not enough. 
I've already shared everything I know. If you want to learn the truth and rescue your friends sooner, you should join the investigation. Oh, hell yeah, I'll do it. So, what do you say? Of course I'll join. In that case, come see me in the speaker's chamber. We should join them. <gasps> oh, Oh, and if it's not too much trouble, could you drop by as well, Traveler? I'd like to have a chat. Oh, shit, okay. I think she knows us anyways. Rest assured, everyone. I'll keep the tribal chiefs informed on the progress of the investigation. Once again, I apologize for the outcome of this ceremony. If there are no further questions, let's part for now. Um, did she just ask us to come along? I believe she did. Let's go. I'd like to know what's going on myself. Nah, no, man, she knows us! She knows us! Oh, I love this! I love she knows us! Yeah, well, we heal. Okay. Got the booth. Oh, with all these guys. The situation is urgent, so I'll get straight to the point. Kachina is undoubtedly a hero of Natlan, and I'm deeply sorry this happened to her. There's been unrest in the Night Kingdom, but I don't know what's causing it. As a result, I've been unable to track down her location. Until we find and address the cause of the unrest, the Ode of Resurrection will continue to be ineffective. And that means Kachina won't be able to come back? That's correct. Not until the problem with the Night Kingdom is resolved. How long will that take? It's hard to say. Kachina always dreamed of fighting the Abyss. Of doing her part to defend Natlan. She wasn't afraid of death because she knew if it came down to it, the Pyro Archon would be there to bring her back to life. Whenever we sat down together, exhausted from training. Oh my gosh, she's she thinking about it. Resurrection. Look at us, this is my little Hela. Ah, la, la, la. If I die, I'll be alive, right? <laughs> I hope so, I don't know about that. She was supposed to come back to us. We were supposed to hug her and celebrate with her and share her joy. Oh, we supported her every step that. of the way, but what are we supposed to do now? Sit peacefully and wait for her return? Lose ourselves in grief over her death? Tell me, are we her friends or her murderers? That's not Shh. fair, Ulani. Shit. It's all right. I understand your rage and your grief. Kachina's life means a great deal to me, Mualani. Believe me, I want to bring her back as soon as possible. I would give you that peace of mind if I could, but please, hear what I have to say so I can at least give you a broader picture of the issue we are now facing. Considering the recent attack on your tribe, I believe the Abyss has found a new means of undermining the rules of our nation. You mean... The Sacred Flame. The foundation of our resistance against the Abyss. If we continue to hold the pilgrimage and send teams to fight the Abyss, there will likely be more casualties. But if we stop altogether, the Sacred Flame will only grow weaker. The Abyss will scale up their attacks, and the tragedy we saw with the people of the Springs will only be the first of many. If we compare the two choices, the former seems to be the lesser of two evils. Sorry, I know that may sound harsh, but I bear the name Malipo. Weighing the costs is my duty. The raw truth can be cruel. But we need to understand it if we want to approach this rationally. But what would you say, Mulani? This is personal for you. And unlike Kanich, I dare say it's not a simple case of weighing up which course of action is less painful, is it? No. I can't choose between them, and I don't want to. Saying that one is preferable over the other is disrespectful to the people who suffered. Hmm. You're saying it doesn't matter whether I suspend the pilgrimage. The consequences will be equally painful. Yes. What happened to Kachina breaks my heart. But I couldn't bring myself to sacrifice other people for her sake. And that is the crux of the problem. It's not simply a matter of choosing the lesser of two evils. Either way, there will be people who suffer. And the end result will be the same. Belief in the pilgrimage will waver. Once doubt has crept in, the people will no longer unite in battle against the Abyss. And that is exactly what the Abyss wants. Their ultimate goal isn't to break the rules that make the Ode of Resurrection. Oh my god, oh ass. It's to destroy the <laughs> people's faith in them. Why is so ass angle on the kill right there? To prevent what happened to Kachina from happening to anyone else, we need to suspend the pilgrimage. So that is my current plan. 
And in the meantime, I've made efforts to strengthen each tribe's defenses. Then, we have to find another way of strengthening the Sacred Flame to keep the Abyss at bay. This won't be easy. I'll need time to figure out the best approach. I understand your anger, Mualani. But I hope that provided some clarity, at least. Wow. Paimon thought things were gonna get heated for a second, but the Pyro Archon took the time to explain everything so patiently. I owe you an apology, Archon. I let myself get carried away earlier, and I'm sorry. You're right. We need to focus on finding solutions. We could always hold the pilgrimage without sending a team to fight in the Night Warden Wars. That way, we would still be able to fuel the Sacred Flame. I've considered that, but the two events have nearly always been linked. Without the chance to fight the Abyss, pilgrimage... I hope, the, is I hope this Kelta is a Boisa. It's like a pull her. Drop. With fewer participants, the amount of contending fire produced will decrease, and the vicious cycle will continue indefinitely. So, essentially, the Abyss has taken Kachina hostage. Oh shit, I never doubt that actually, but that's possible. What happens if you stay in the Night World Kingdom for a long period of time? You've learned about the concept of ley lines during your travels, yes? The Night Kingdom is something similar. Staying there for a short period of time shouldn't have an effect on the person. But with the Abyss in the picture, it's a different story. Your sense of self will be devoured until eventually you become one with the Sea of Souls. Imagine pouring a cup of water into a rushing river. You can try to scoop up another cup, but there's no chance it will be the same water you had before. I won't sugarcoat it. That is the danger Kachina is currently facing. Just like you said, Archon. Both of these problems need to be addressed. You can focus all your efforts on dealing with the Sacred Flame. I will go search for Kachina. The Abyss poses the same threat to you as it does to her. It is very possible you will not return. Knowing that, do you still choose to go? Kachina's waiting for us to rescue her. That's all that matters. I failed to protect her during our campaign. But I can make it up to her now. I choose to go as well. Fuck yes. Um, Traveler? What do you think? I promise she will have the chance to learn from me. Understood. Then I'll support you in any way I can. The Masters of the Nightwind have a technique that can extract an ancient name from the Ley Lines. If we can find Kachina's ancient name, I can use the link between them to pinpoint her position within the Night Kingdom. Then comes the hard part. You need to visit the Night Kingdom in person and rescue her. But isn't the Night Kingdom a land of souls? Can we even go there? Under normal circumstances, only the consciousness can enter. But there is a way to go there in person. However, know that the Night Kingdom will attempt to repel you, and the Abyss certainly won't leave you be. That's fine by me. Same here. Fighting the Abyss is nothing new for me. It won't be a problem. So, uh, Paimon's the only one who's scared? Well, if you're going, Traveler, Paimon's going too. Seat Lolly of the Masters of the Night Wind once created an artifact that can be used to communicate with the Wyan. We call it the Spirit Speaker Stone. It was originally used as a ceremonial artifact wielded by the tribal chiefs. But that spiritual quality also means it can be used to search for an ancient name. That was the artifact I delivered to the Scions of the Canopy a few days ago. I didn't think I'd be hearing about it again so soon. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. Your thanks are unnecessary. I will offer you whatever aid I can, but your fellowship and courage are what will truly decide the success of this operation. <laughs> Besides, you're the ones helping me. I can only focus on one thing at a time, after all. <sighs> Traveler, I certainly didn't expect our first conversation to be so serious. I've heard all about your accomplishments. Ever since you arrived, I've been hoping to meet you and offer you Matlin's highest level of hospitality. Uh, yes. Why? Why? Is that not what happened in the other nations you visited? Mm, it's kind of complicated. Yeah, things were pretty complicated at the start. And, you know, in the middle. But our reputation's solid nowadays. <laughs> That's more like it. After all, I've heard you're someone who transcends fate. You know quite a lot about me. Perhaps even more than you can imagine. 
But we can talk about that some other time. Ideally, this would be the perfect night for a drink and some musical ambiance. But there are important things to be done. Oh, I almost forgot. Atea was wounded in the fight against the Abyss. She wanted us to give this to you. It embodies fond memories and my strength of will. That's what she asked us to tell you. She said you'd know what that means. <sighs> I didn't think this day would come so soon. The flames of her life force. I can feel them flowing within the talisman. <laughs> if things were different, the two of us could have enjoyed the hot springs together while she gave this to me in person. We're supposed to be hot spring buddies after all. But don't worry. This talisman means a great deal to me. I'll take good care of it. And once this is all over, I'll pay Atea a visit. Oh my god, I love how Alfred sells this. You said you didn't want to jeopardize the production of Contending Fire. But that's not at all why you decided to suspend the pilgrimage, is it? You're right. Even now, the production of Contending Fire is far from sufficient. The gradual corrosion caused by the Abyss has resulted in a massive shortage of pyro energy. And we're currently at the breaking point, as things stand. The pilgrimage is a lost cause. Suspending it allows us to save our strength to defend the tribes. The Abyss has brought catastrophe to Natlan. And Kachina's disappearance in the Night Kingdom is a direct consequence of that. We can't let the general public know that. No. If the public learned that Natlan's destruction was close at hand, there would be immense panic. Like, ah! But if I said nothing at all, they would have continued to question the integrity of Natlan's heroes. Another simple choice. The latter was clearly the better solution. But you chose otherwise. I have never subscribed to the belief that the right choice is the one with the fewest sacrifices. Let's go. There's still a way for the sacred flame to last a little longer. You mean? Yes. Come with me. Oh. All right, let's do this. All right, we are outside. The sacred flame must never go out. Not only does it strike fear in the abyss, but it's also the pillar of Natland stability. So until our heroes are ready, I will sacrifice my power to keep it burning. But that can only last so long. I think we should focus on the remaining ancient name bearers. Don't let desperation cloud your judgment. Those chosen by the Wyab have already embarked on their destined path. It is for them to decide how that journey ends, not us. All we can do is support them. Even so, for you to make this sacrifice, it's not right. <laughs> if not me, then who? No other is capable of sustaining the sacred flame. I possess great strength, but I'm not above my people. This is part of my duty. Oh. I just got me a Is this below a pussy too? Don't zip? Oh shit. Archon, it's the Fatui! What? Why are they here? The Archon of Natlan. <gasps> so I think it is? A force to be reckoned with. Oh, Shay's here! Oh! You've been waiting for this! It's no secret to me. Long have they been destined for Wait. ruin. She's taking his? And since the oath made five centuries Wait, ago remains Wait, the book, how are you, I mean, Claymore users? Use the Gnosis in your hands. That voice sounds so familiar. I don't know what you mean, but it sounds like this is about more than the Tsuri. <gasps> With glasses? Oh shit, that's sick. In times of crisis, someone must pick up the mantle of salvation. Your plan has reached an impasse, and now it falls to me to create new rules for Natlan. But before the dawn of a new age, the old must be destroyed. People say it's pretty payable. <laughs> Ooh. I assume that's the end of your speech. Good. People like us. Let our plates do the talking! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's go! Have you seen Kenshi saw it? I mean, Claymore saw it. One way. Ah. 
Oh, it's a stomach. Ooh. I can't look at how she'll be able to look like when she's playable. Five is ice. Who's gonna win? Oh, fuck! Look at this! Now you're fine, guys. This is like Dragon Ball Z level battle by here. Oh my god, this is so cool. Does both fist in the end together? One! Our boss is dead! I think. Hey, you got him. Not heavily wounded. Wait, they're still going at it? Oh shit! Never mind. <laughs> Masters of the Night Wind. Send word. The captain and his followers must be apprehended. Uh oh. Oh wow, what a battle this witness. It's like one of those intense anime battles I love watching. Are you alright, Archon? He was a formidable opponent. Exactly what I would expect from the first of the Fatui Harbingers. I never imagined someone could match you in combat. If the Tsaritsa sent him here, why would he bring up what happened five centuries ago? Yeah. And how much does he know about Natlan? The Harbingers are all driven by their own personal goals. The only purpose that unites them is collecting the Gnosis, but I'm sure the captain has his own reasons for being here as well. Whatever his motive, we should shift our focus to the Fatui. If they attack again, and we're not prepared, we're done for. No, we're running out of time. The wound I inflicted should hold him back and weaken him for the time being. Besides, I'm sure you noticed, the power that came to his rescue just now came from the Masters of the Nightwind. In other words... There are traitors among us. Oh god, I'll see that so well again. Not necessarily. This could prove to be a very valuable turn of events. When we exchanged final blows, I sensed an unusual presence within him. I'll need to investigate further. Kanich, go to the Masters of the Nightwind and look into who could have aided the captain. Speak to Seat Lali. She should know. Of course, I'll lovely. head out right now. Do you still intend to... Yes. But fear not. All right. Natland's strength has never rested solely in its Archon. Together we foresaw the only path that leads to our nation's future. We must trust in that vision now. Ooh. She's doing that in the meantime. I pray to you to get stronger, Archon! Is everything okay, Archon? Ah, uh, completely fine. Just lamenting the fact that I never got a picture when I could still turn my hair into flames. <laughs> uh, too late now. I just hope the others have a safe journey. I think meanwhile... Ah, I will find them all! There we are. Wait, do I play a Celsius? Like, what the fuck just happened? What's happening at the stadium? Did something explode?
explode? Uh, Taco Bell? It feels like the Archon unleashed her power. She must be fighting a formidable opponent. Should we go back and check what's going on? Kachu doesn't have much time. Have faith in the Archon. She wouldn't lose in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Once we find Kachina's ancient name, we'll head right back. Okay, let's just keep climbing. Emon really hopes nothing goes wrong. Nope. Goddamn, Slit has the ass of us! What do you mean Kachina says? She's literally like next to me. Just kidding, she's like- <gasps> Oh shit! Let's head over to her. Ah, uh, Katina, you may be just your friend being dead. Don't give me that look. Are they going to kill us? This oh, why are they so innocent in this part of the tribe? But we're outside the tribe. The evil ones that would literally kill us for no absolute reason. Okay, let's speak to them. Chaska. Oh my God, she has. Not nice to see you again, Wina. I'm afraid we don't have time for pleasantries, so I'll get right to it. We're here for the Spirit Speaker Stone. Whoa, hold on a second. At least tell me why you need it first. My friend Kachina is trapped within the Night Kingdom. We need the stone to find her ancient name and rescue her. Rescue her? From the Night Kingdom? That's right. I'm sorry, but someone needs to tell you what you don't want to hear. Go in there. A mature warrior would never make such a foolish decision. The nature of battle is unpredictable. You never know how it's going to end. Losing a friend is tragic, but when that happens, the best thing you can do is focus on how to prevent further casualties. I appreciate what you're trying to say, Chief Wina. But if the price of maturity is abandoning a friend in need, I'll choose foolishness any day. If Kachina's still holding on, then so will I. I thought you might say that. <sighs> is something wrong, Wina? This doesn't seem like you. Here we are, people. The Kali Celsia, another Roblox face when you play that um, Dress to Impress game. Her face line does look like it. It's kind of goofy to relate it to Roblox when I mean, she's really not. She's just fucking pretty. Life isn't complete without taking risks. That's always been your mantra. Uh huh. <laughs> it's nothing. The Night Kingdom is a dangerous place. Can't blame me for checking if you were up to the task. If you're that determined. Far be it from me to stop you. Here's the stone. Keep it safe, okay? It's not like we have a spare. Thank you. Huh. Seems like she you is two go way back. Oh, but God. Aren't you from the Flower Feather Clan, Chaska? Oh, Chaska's a peacekeeper. So she's famous throughout the tribes. She's always the one people call to resolve conflicts. So we slowly got to know each other that way. Her younger sister, Queechee's always hanging around our tribe, too. She's helped us out a lot in the past. Oh, you have a younger sister? Yes. I'll introduce you to her sometime. But let's get back to business. Wayna, how do we use the stone? Is she Amino? As you probably know, your intended destination I could is your vision, but her, her ass. in the real world. The Night King My goodness, what is all flowing I don't see it. And the ancient name you seek is like a tiny fish swimming downstream. In that sense, the stone is like a fishing boat drifting down the river. But the boat alone isn't enough. You need a fisherman experienced enough to steer it in the right direction. We couldn't do that ourselves? With a little practice, I'm sure you could. You have the strength and the talent. If you want to make sure this works, though, I could recommend someone to you. Who? Vichama. A legendary warrior and scout from our tribe. He's got a keen eye and a well-honed intuition. Even his ancient name means to seek. If you're fishing for a name, you're gonna want him on the boat. Bichama? Why does that name sound familiar? He's one of Auntie Atea's hot spring buddies. I've heard stories about him. Where can we find him? Ever since Malco passed, he spends most of his time gazing out at the scenery from the clifftops. Follow the path that way. And I'm sure you'll find him. Thank you. We'll go look for him there. <sighs> Good luck. I hope everything goes well. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to see success of people killed already, but I don't know when she'll be one. So, anyways, um, there they are. Just sing. We're standing. And I just sing. Well, okay. That's me. Did you need something? 
You tell him about the Kachina and the Spirit Taker Stone. So, oh shit, okay. What? You're saying you can bring someone back from the Night Kingdom? How is that even possible? No, if you really think about it, anything's possible in that kind of place. But that would mean... Are you okay? You don't look so good. Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. I'll help you. But I do have a small request. After I help you find Kachina's ancient name, I want to use the stone to look for my friends as well. Your friend? Oh, why not mention someone named Malko? Is that who you're talking about? Yes, but I'd rather not get into it if it's all the same to you. That's not a problem. We agree to your request. Yeah. Since you're helping us find Kachina's ancient name, it's only right that we return the favor. Then we're agreed. Can I have a look at the stone? Yes, here it is. So, oh, it looks like two tomorrow coins. Okay. You're thinking real hard, aren't you? Huh. I see. From what I can tell, it functions almost like an abyssal pylon. Both connect the Night Kingdom to the living world. Once the connection is established, the abyss will come surging through the opening like a predator honing in on the scent of blood. So we have to be sure not to use it in a tribal settlement. Wow, you got all that just from looking at it? I just picked up on the basics, really. I still have no idea why it works. You said someone named Sid Lali invented this. They must be a genius. I'll go find an open area and start setting things up. In the meantime, I need you to get two things for me. We'll go right away. What do you need? First, I'll need some hook ropes. Pretty much every store around here carries them, so no need to go anywhere special. Oh, and I need to build a net out of them, so make sure you get a good amount. Wait, are you saying you're going to use a real net to catch Kachina's ancient name? How does that work when one's tangible and one's not? By creating something tangible in our world, like a net, we can create a connection to a corresponding concept in the Night Kingdom. Basically, I'm going to use the concept of a net to catch something equally intangible, an ancient name. Oh, I see. What about the second thing you needed? Right. I need one, no, two chunks of obsidian. Once we bring the ancient names into our world, we'll need a place to store them. Normally, you can only get obsidian from the Children of Echoes, but I heard there's a traveling merchant from that tribe around here somewhere, so maybe you can try your luck there. Gotcha! All right, let's split up. See that clearing? Let's meet over there when you're done. Oh, and you can send someone with me if you want. In case you're worried, I might take the stone for myself. What? What do you think, Chaska? <laughs> there's no need. Lena spoke highly of you. That means you're trustworthy. I appreciate it. Even though that doesn't mean much to me anymore. Anyway, it'll take some time to set everything up, so no need to rush. I'll see you in a bit. Just take them. Okay. What an odd guy. He seems so defeated, but also really invested in the stone at the same time. I don't have any more insight than you, Paimon. Let's just focus on the preparations for now. Mm -hmm. Hang on, Kachina. We're coming for you. Welcome with the girls. Mm -hmm. I got woman on my side. Okay, where's the first um first shop gonna go? It's downstairs apparently. So let's head down this way. Damn. Okay. I'm just looking down in case. Okay, let's talk to you. Uh, I'm about down. Do you have any hook ropes for sale? Hook ropes? As in rock climbing equipment? Yes. How much for your whole stock? Oh, the whole thing? Oh, let me see. That would be 30,000 more in total. Oh, I like the hand sale Deal. Wait, really? What, you want me to drive down the price? We just need these as fast as possible. Thanks. Oh, uh, no problem at all. I'll even pass along some information on the house. These ropes are usually used by rock climbing enthusiasts. Uh, if you want to learn, Roke is the person you want to ask. All right, that's everything. Here you go. Now we need the obsidian. Let's go talk to the traveling merchant Michama mentioned. Oh my god, you say like, they said like as if it was a Minecraft version, you know? <laughs> oh, I talked to this one. Excuse me, do you sell obsidian? Why, yes. <laughs> I've got a chunk for sale right over there. Perfect. Is that the only one, though? We actually need two. Hmm. That might be tough. 
tell you what. I'll take a look through these boxes over here, and, and we'll see what we can find. Thank you so much. We'll wait here. Let me just go look, and then I'm out of it. Relax. Everything's going according to plan. I know, it's just... I could tell Vichama feels the same way about his friend that I do about Kachina. I hope this chunk of obsidian isn't the only one. Kachina always carries all sorts of shiny stones with her. If I was the one trapped in the Night Kingdom, she'd have a whole pile of obsidian ready in a heartbeat. Well, would you look at that? I did bring an extra. <laughs> Here you go, young lady. How does it look? It's not tidy. I'm just kidding, not. <laughs> that looks. Perfect. Thank you. How much do I owe you? If you hadn't shown up, these stones would have just sat here collecting dust. I'll take 3,000 more of for both. Here you go. By the way, I heard you mention Vichama just now. You running an errand for him then? How's he doing? Malko's been gone for five years now. It's about time he started to move forward. Do you know what happened between them? I heard about it in passing while I was out drinking one night. But I don't know all the details. Michama and Malko grew up together, and even made a name for themselves together. Malko was an amazing fighter, capable of knocking out multiple opponents in a single hit, while Vichama excelled at scouting and analyzing the battlefield. The two made an excellent team, and managed to beat back the Abyss several times. Five years ago, they both emerged triumphant in the pilgrimage, and were placed on the same team to fight the Abyss. But on the eve of battle, the Abyss launched an attack on their tribe, and Bichama suffered an injury to his leg while attempting to rescue someone. Then what happened? The team agreed that he couldn't fight the Abyss in his condition. Vichama didn't argue. He knew going to the front lines with an injured leg would make him a burden in battle. So they raised the issue with the Pyro Archon, and she agreed to let him stay behind. It's just... Melko and the others ended up facing hordes of Abyssal monsters in numbers that far exceeded anyone's expectations. The team made an error in judgment. And they fell to the onslaught. Vichama went into a deep depression after that. He blames himself for everything. Mm, it doesn't sound like it was his fault. Oh, you're not wrong. But it's possible he chooses to blame himself. Not because he did something wrong, but because he wasn't able to do anything at all. I tried convincing him to move forward. To stop by dwelling on the past. But the shadow of Melko's death hangs over him still. The abyss has caused so much suffering, and some wounds never heal. I wish there was something he could do to make himself feel better. But... Uh, anyway, that's the gist of it. Maybe you could help him talk things through sometime. I would really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. We'll attempt to shut the fuck up. Oh, look, we're gonna go flying. Okay. See? Oh my god, it's like some arrow. Like, you do this too, as well. That's amazing. But you're an animal. So I just. Yeah, okay, let's do this. No! Go up that way! Yeah, good, good, you go this way. Wait, it's like, ah, oh, enemy! No, it's just me! It, it's me! It's me! Oh, if it's you, then come out! Okay, I'm out. Oh, that's you. What was that? Did you get everything? Yep, it's all here. When do we start? I've made all the necessary adjustments, so we're good to go. As agreed, I'll help you find Kachina's ancient name, and then you return the favor. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. As you are you seeking your friend's ancient name? Uh, after Malko fell, I scoured the battlefield to see what happened. It turned out he wasn't bested by some impossibly powerful foe. He was dragged to his grave by the sheer number of enemies. If I had been there, I would have been able to sense the danger. I could have warned them not to advance. I've always blamed myself for what happened. But when you told me about Kachina, I realized there's a chance Malko might also be alive, fighting for survival in the Night Kingdom. But that happened several years ago, right? The Pyro Archon said all life within the Night Kingdom eventually becomes one with the Sea of Souls. There might not be much hope. 
but I still have to try. Malco and I promised each other, even if we never managed to root out the Abyss for good, we would fight together until the end. All right, let's get to it. I'll start searching for the conceptualized version of Kachina's ancient name. If you see any fragments scattered around the area, please collect them. Ooh, doing some virtual. I love that. Make sure you prepare yourselves for battle. As I said, the stone will link the mortal realm to the night kingdom. The abyss will likely emerge in response. Yeah. Protect him. Look at that golden thing. It must be one of those fragments Pichama mentioned. Correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. Collect those, collect those. Need a surfboard? Oh, I know those enemies are gonna come down too. I just know it. They're like, oh, you guys see that? Let's attack that person while that's happening. Let's go about down she does though. It's not bad. It's not really bad. Bounce, bounce around these walls. You'll be okay, Katrina. Okay, okay, get out of the way. Let uh, Vaisa! Got it! Boom! Vaisa attacks! Swing the arms side to side! Make them Do they bleed? No no, Vaisa, the animals, yeah, they will bleed! Eat the guts! Vaisa don't eat guts, that's fucking gross! But if you cook them. Uh, I guess I'll eat them still. Of course you will, because Ben does that. Lenny burn them. Lenny, the great magician, burns them. <laughs> oh, I missed. Nah, that's okay. Lenny got it. Lenny got it. Burn them with your body, guys. Damn, 20k dollars in total. Wait, is burn them off? Oh, come on, really? Okay, you need hydro this one. Oh, I wasn't trying to hit you. I'm trying to aim for this one. Uh, careful. Oh, oh, chill out. Get your ass back here. Bring your ass back here. They're gonna get a hydro puzzle in my team already. It could have been someone else in this one, but that's okay. Because I was like, wow, that was coming. I was thinking of a team I could use for Natlin. My Natlin team. You're dead. Oh, Katrina. I mean, yeah. She's on level 60! She did 10k damage already! That's because I give all the facts she needs! Damn, she's doing good already! Okay, Lenny? Alright! Burn them off! Alright, go on, go on! Burn them! Waza! Take them down! Waza! Squash! These! Um! Fat! Ass! Enemies! Boom! Uh oh. How much longer, Pichama? Uh oh. Is she getting affected? Is he getting affected? Uh. Wait, sir, grab them! Uh. Wait, sir, he's trying his best! Wait, sir, he's trying! Oh, Lord! Oh no, I missed one. Lenny! You got it! The great magician will grab these points! Alright, let's grab this one, grab this one. Oh, wait, that's it. He's getting affected, shouldn't I? Or you say, shouldn't I cleanse it off? There we go. Quick, take it. Got it. Ooh, nice catch. I found Kachina's ancient name. Hang in there, Malco. Just a little longer. Something's not right. The power of the abyss is getting stronger. The abyss is corroding his body. Vichama, you can't keep going. You'll die. I should have died five years ago. I just need a little more time. Please, I'm almost there. Let me do it. <laughs> Understood. Thank you. I was. Oh, I'm doing. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm doing interaction. I love this. <sighs> I'm sucking it. I'm sucking it in. Like how Ayaka sucks my dick. Ah! I enjoyed that, by the way. Oh, but well, I'm done. This power hanging in there. Uh, what are you time? No, why can't I find him? Why? He's most likely dead, buddy. We can't wait any longer. Pull him 
away from the stone, Mualani. I already tried, but the power of the Abyss has him in a chokehold. It's like he's tied to the stone with an invisible rope. In that case, we have no choice. I'm sorry, Sea Lolly. Get back! <gasps> She's a boat user! Wait. Oh hell yeah! Okay, at least it confirms she's a bow user. Okay, now now I'm gonna save for her. All right, we do some. Ouch! What happened just now? It looked like the spirit speaker stone was. The stone's power was spiraling out of control. The only way to stop it was to destroy it. We were all caught in the shockwave of the explosion. You might feel dizzy for a while, but that's normal. Give us a heads up next time, will you? You're lucky we managed to dodge it in time. I thought I said to get back. Yeah, barely a second before you made it go poof. Not everyone has your reflexes, Chaska. We were this close to getting dragged into the explosion. Okay, I'll be more careful next time. At least Kachina's ancient name is still in one piece. Wait, where's Vichama? Vichama! <sighs> Vichama! I couldn't find Mako's ancient name. It... Must be completely gone by now. Once your ancient name disappears, there's no coming back. From the very beginning, I knew there was a slim chance, but still, and now <sighs> it's too late to save him. From the minute he left that day, it was already too late. Hey, Chama. I'm sure he's heard enough condolences over the years. Let's just give him some space. Huh? What's that in your hands, Vichama? It looks like something's glowing! Uh huh? Uh, this is... Oh, see and glow- Um, should you just toss it away for a second? What- what was that about? Hey, Malko. Got any strength left? Oh, past. Not enough to swing a sword, but to say a few last words? Sure. <laughs> Too bad. No one will get to hear them. I never thought I'd actually die on this mission. <laughs> Not that I'm afraid to die. It's just... hard... thinking about my mom's face when she hears the news. I guess I have something to be thankful for then. My parents died a long time ago. They won't have to mourn me. <sighs> Pisak! <sighs> Always had to beat me at everything, didn't you? Right to the end, you were never one for goodbyes. Maybe you're right. <sighs> Maybe no one will get to hear our last words. But just in case, Vichama, I'm so glad you didn't come with us. Don't be sad. Just keep on living. For the both of us. <sighs> he did die. Sorry, dude. Was that... a memory? Seems like we were able to salvage something after all. Yeah, we all saw it. For any better, Vegema? Of course. Seeing him, hearing his voice again, it makes me... unbelievably happy. But... it also brings with it an even deeper pain. A deeper pain? Why? Malko was always the type to put on a brave face, but in that memory just now, his hands were shaking, and his smile was forced. Yeah, you like- For all these years, I regretted not being able to fight alongside him to the end, and now I know, at the end of his life, he was thinking the same thing. Bichama! I'm fine. Actually, I heard Chief Wina wasn't really on board with your plan to go to the Night Kingdom. Dog, oh, okay, yeah, she's Amino. I mean, that's okay. Because if she was, even though she was a uh, cryo vision, I'll still use it either way. When Doesn't you matter. Asked for my help, I hesitated too. I knew helping you find your friend's ancient name meant leading you one step closer to danger. But I also understood why you had to try. Everyone has regrets mm, in I'm life. I'm just curious though about Celestia. But not everyone gets the chance Celestia, to make I mean, up for them. How is your name again? How, did she lose someone in life? Once allowed to fester, guilt strips us of our most valuable qualities as warriors. In that sense, we might as well choose the braver path from the very beginning. 
uh, a more cautious way? If I could do it all over again, I would have followed Malco to the front lines no matter what. Even with an injured leg, there were still things I could have done. That way, even if Love the that. outcome stayed the same, I still would have fought alongside him to the end. There are critical junctures in life, and if you don't seize the chance to act, there's no going back. That's something I had to learn in hindsight. But you're still at the crossroads of your journey, so... I hope you can walk away without regrets. Thank you, Vichama. I feel even more determined now. Kachina will come back to us. I'll make sure of it. I promised I would find her, and I intend to keep that promise. That's good to hear. <coughs> Strange. <clears throat> My body, it's... Once abyssal corrosion enters the body, a portion will fuse itself to your internal organs. Even though the Traveler possesses powers of purification, the corrosion can never be fully eradicated. Thanks to him, though, you are only briefly exposed. Slowing your breathing and controlling your emotions should help you keep the symptoms in check. He's like, okay. Are we fine then? Yeah! Huh. That does make me feel better. You seem very knowledgeable about all this. Just speaking from experience, that's all. Anyway, we've recovered Kachina's ancient name, so we're off to a great start. Let's get Vichama back to his tribe and tell Wine of the good news. Oh, um, and apologize for destroying the Spirit Speaker Stone. We had no choice, though, so he'll probably understand. Mm, right? We don't know! Look at the point of faces! Like, uh, we had to break it. She's like, that's okay. Don't delete, that's okay. Mm. Who's that? <sighs> Koichi, are you really gonna just stand there like that? I don't know what you want from me. I think you know exactly what I'm trying to say, Uncle Wina. I can hear it in your voice. Honestly, it's just one thing after another with you two. <sighs> They're back. Koichi, what are you doing here? <laughs> Don't play dumb with your own sister. You know exactly why I'm here. My apologies, everyone. I just need to borrow Tasca for a few minutes. You come with me. What? It's... <sighs> I'll be just a moment. Uh. Who is that? Kuichi. Chaska's younger sister. Although the two aren't actually related by blood. Yeah, obviously. It's kind of a long story. Why? She did call herself Celsius' sister just now. It's not really my story to tell, but I guess it's not a secret. You see, Chaska was actually raised by cuckoo sores. She was afflicted with a rare disease when she was a child, and abandoned in the wild as a result. The Abyss found her out there, all on her own, and tried to devour her. But in the end, all that did was trigger her will to live. That strength of will pushed her to survive. But it also planted a seed of conflict within her. Eventually, she was adopted by the Cuckoo Source. Wherever they went, she followed, getting into fights right and left. For some reason, Paimon can totally imagine that. <laughs> well, when Chaska finally returned to human society, it was Quichi's parents who adopted her. At the time, Chaska still had a habit of getting into fights. So Kuichi was always taking her around, apologizing to everyone. Ah, uh, I remember those days. One of those fights was definitely with me. But, you know, kids, you're fighting one minute and your friends the next. Eventually, she found a way to rein in that desire to fight. And now she's who people call to resolve conflicts. She's known as the peacemaker. It sounds like she still argues with Kuichi, though. Don't siblings usually stop fighting when they get older? Hmm, depends on the person. <sighs> That's partly my fault. Kuichi asked me to stop Chaska from doing anything dangerous, but you probably know by now, once Chaska makes up her mind, there's no changing it. Oh, I get it. No wonder you tried to talk us out of going to the Night Kingdom. Chaska even said that wasn't like you. I'm all for your adventure. You need to take risks when you're young. Because by the time you're my age, you couldn't attempt something like that even if you wanted to. Better try now than live with regrets later. That's what I say. Still, I can understand where Kuichi's coming from. In the end, nobody wants to sit back and let a loved one put their life on the line. 
What's going on, you two? All right, it's just the two of us now. You have one minute to explain yourself. I don't have anything to say. You don't have to approve, but you should know I only do what's necessary. That attitude is exactly the problem. It's like you don't care. You try to sneak off to the Night Kingdom behind my back and then play it down as if it's just a trip abroad. Well, technically I am going abroad, right? Again with the excuses! <sighs> we agreed, didn't we? There are four levels of danger. If it's not something urgent, you can only engage in level two danger and below. You can only go up to level three if a situation is so dire there's absolutely no alternative. So I got a vision, but a you don't. Trip to the Night Kingdom? If that's not a level four, I don't know what is. And you were just going to sneak into the place without saying anything. What do you mean sneak into the place? I always planned on walking in there with my head held high. You bought off Uncle Wyna, didn't you? He promised me he'd stop you from doing anything dangerous. Oh, it's like he didn't even try. You feel like he went back on his word. What if I told you my mind was made up and there was nothing he could have done? Not even by force. Oh, I knew it. So he did try to say something, but you didn't listen. This is important. If you were in my shoes, you'd make the same decision. You don't know that. I'm a doctor and I handle logistics. If you're going to waltz into a dangerous situation where you could lose control at any moment, it's my duty to say something. All right, whatever. Anything else? Oh, you... What do you mean, anything else? Why don't you reflect on what you've done and promise me you'll stay put? Time out. Is this one of our normal arguments or a serious one? Chaska, does it sound like I'm joking? Then... You need to know something. What happened to Kachina was partially my fault. I can't leave her there to die. That's not who I am. But the person you become when you lose control, that's also not who you are. That's a different issue. You said it yourself. A person is only as good as their morals. If I want to live in Matlan, I need to display qualities that make me worthy of this nation. I've also told you that managing your condition is equally important. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. All right, let's stop this here. If we keep going, I might actually have to get serious. And I think Wyna prefers his roof attached to his house. Is that a threat? That sounds like a threat to me. Uh, Koichi! Uh, younger sisters are supposed to listen to their elders. Uh, so, you're really going to go... All guilty! No matter what I say... I'm supposed to be your sister. Then support me. I'll be back. All you have to do is wait. Ugh. Chaska. So, that's it. Why'd you have to turn out to be so... darn... annoying? Uh, you two are something else. Something you wanted to say? I know you aren't related by blood, but you two sure are similar. Really? You know, I said that very thing to Kuichi not too long ago, and she reacted the exact same way, down to the very tone of voice. It's not my place to get involved, but I will say this. Try to spend a little more time with your sister. You're tough kids. That doesn't mean you have to go it alone. Thank you. Anytime. All right. If you're done with the Spirit Speaker Stone, you might as well hand it over. Shit. According to Kinich, it's an important ceremonial artifact, so it'd be safer to keep it with me. Um, about that. <sighs> if only Tone Gift Bard was here, he could have repaired it just like the Holy Liar. Because <laughs> I wanted you to say you call my name. A few more pieces than you remember. Uh huh? You spend the sequence of events away. You the fuck. That's okay. That's fine. I see. Mm. Sounds like it was an urgent situation. If someone's life was on the line, then you had no choice. Yeah, he gets it. Still, Seat Lolly's going to be a nightmare to deal with now that you've broken her stuff. I'll explain everything to her later. Stay safe out there in the Night Kingdom, okay? I'll wait here for your safe return. Yeah. So now we get going. Alright, I'm gonna go. Like subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.